Alan Perry was not only found guilty of the felony charge of inciting a riot, he was also charged and found guilty of the misdemeanors of resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and trespassing. But the jury found him not guilty of two felony assault charges against the two Salem police officers that were injured in the melee. The brawl that broke out at the gates of Canopy Lake Park last June, a father and two of his sons from Vermont fighting with police officers. What started with a refusal to put their pocket knives in their car escalated to them being kicked out. When one son refused, police were called. A jury charged with deciding whether the father, Alan Perry, assaulted the officers and incited a riot, got to see that video. Alan was not coming over there to hurt him or harm him or assault him. He was coming over to check on his son. Perry's attorney said he was acting in self defense, that the officers overreacted and were the aggressors when Perry saw his son being arrested and felt his son's safety was threatened. The state told the story from the officer's perspective. Next thing he knows, this guy's on top of him. This guy's twice the size. Next thing you know, someone else has got him around the waist. It's two on one, one of the guys is twice his size. In what world is that self defense? After two hours of deliberations, the jury found Alan Perry guilty of inciting a riot, as well as trespass, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. They found him not guilty of assaulting the two officers who were injured in the melee. Disappointed. Um, I think the jury, uh, uh, I appreciate their deliberations. I, I disagree with the, uh, some of the verdicts. Both sides agree video was central to the case. Here they can watch it and they can make up their own mind about what they think happened. So I think this is a very pure verdict. Alan Perry left with his family, declining comment. They're upset, of course. Um, these times are difficult, and uh, I think they will, they need some time to process the verdicts. Perry will be sentenced in about a month. He could face up to seven years in prison. His sons, Joshua and Brian, are also charged with inciting a riot, and their trials will be separate, but also coming up in the next few months. We're live in Brentwood. Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.